Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the job activities under the bot manager section. So in this sequence, we will create a simple hello world application where we will display a message saying hello world in a message box. Then we will publish that project and using the BMP, we will create a job. So we'll see how to create a job uh, once we have published the pro uh, project. So once we have created a job, we can in another sequence, we can then start that job using the start job activity. So after a job is run, then we will return the details of that job using the get job details activity. So first I'll drag and drop a message box here. And I'll type in hello world, click on save and I'll run this sequence. So here we can see there's a message saying hello world. So click on OK. Now we will publish this uh, project. So we we'll click on the explorer, right click on the project. Here we can click on publish. So it says, do you want to check in all and publish the project? So click on yes. And then we can click on publish here. So here we have a message saying published successfully. So now when we come to the BMT, here if we can, if we see under packages, here the name of the project was hello world underscore tutorial. Now if we come to our packages, we can see is added over here hello world underscore tutorial this is our process so it's in, once it's published it is uh, it'll be added in the form of a package now let's create a job so now to create a job we click on processes and click on add now then we select the package so our package is hello world tutorial and click on the version is 1.0 so let's just confirm that 1.0 click on save all right now now let's create an other sequence and close it let's create another project Here I'll drag and drop the start job activity. The start job activity enables you to start a process on the bot manager on the specified number of robots. So here uh, in the BMT we can either start a job through the BMT where we have an option uh, here is called start job. Here we just need to click on start job and select the process and then select the robot on which we need to uh, uh, start the job. But we are going to start the job through the studio. So that's why I have used this activity. Now we need to mention the robot name. So I've given my robot name. This is, this is my robot name. And I'll give the process name. Our process name is the process that we just published. So that is yeah, this is the one, Hello World Tutorial. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. Now let's click on Save All and run the sequence. Here you can see we have started the job and in the message box it is displayed Hello World. Click on OK. Now let's disable this activity and let's go to BMT and we'll click on jobs. Here let's just go to the filter option and select the robot which is my robot. Click on switch. So this is the last job that we uh, ran. Hello world tutorial underscore tutorial. Uh, so we started the job using this activity. So now we will return the details of this job that is uh, that was run so for that 
we will drag and drop the get shop details activity so the yeah so now using this get job details activity we will return uh, any job uh, any details such as the start date time or end date time or the process name so now um, now we will click on the filter option click on add rule and here based now we have a list so based on any of these options we can do the filtering process uh, so i'll click on the process name so our process is a lower tutorial so i'll take the process and paste it here click on next and click on next and then i'll click on save and the job details will be assigned to an array list so i will we need to create a variable for that so i can create a, a list called var job list okay now i'll drag and drop a for each activity and we we'll loop through this var job list so we we'll type in var job list and here we need to click on the variables panel and change the type of var item to job and we will finally drag and drop a message box and type in var item here after typing in var item we can if you want uh, it depends on what we are trying to return so here uh like if i go to jobs and select so this is our job if we want a start date time then we need to give that so once i uh, type in var item we hit enter dot and then we can here see here we have a list of options to choose from so if i want i can choose a start date time of that job so i'll click on save and run the sequence so here you can see the start time of this job was 8 april 22 and the time is there 9759 9758 so here it has returned the same time now similarly if we want the end date time we can get that as well Here you can see the end date time has also been displayed. Uh, now we'll uh, just check for uh, one more thing: the status of it. So, dot status. Then run the sequence. Here you can see it's completed. So this is how we can get uh, the details of a different job uh, using the get job details activity so that's all for this video thanks so much